Good morning guys. We are exploring Shanghai. Um, it's really nice here. The air quality is so much better uh, than the capital Beijing. I really, really like it here. And the weather is a lot better. It's a little warmer, but it's still a little cold. It's nice. Now we hear the music from the Big Bear. It's a copy of the Big Bear in London. into this song in the year 1949 and this song was to eulogize Chairman Bao following our group uh, to film us and take pictures of us. It's pretty funny to see. I think we left them behind, but I wonder how long they'll keep following us. Tomorrow night we will see all the buildings with the makeup, yeah, <laughs> with all the neon lights. lights. Yeah. Um, now we are going to Shanghai Museum, uh, one of the best museums uh, in China. Uh, it has a great location, it's located in the center of the downtown, and that area is called the People's Square. Uh, that area once was a British horse racing course, but in the year 1990 our government diverted it into a beautiful park. We call it People's Park, and later on we built a few nice buildings on top of it, including the City Hall, the Urban Planning Exhibition Center, uh, the Shanghai Grand Theater and the, the Shanghai Museum. The museum was opened in the year 1996. It has four floors. Big escalators take up us uh, to up, uh, take us uh, up and down. But you may also uh, do stairs if you would like. Uh. Yes, it is. Monster again, protruding eyes, the tongue sticking out, and the belly or the body of the wine vessel, so that we could see the reflection. Huh? So we still in, we instill water into the leg. The, le the water will go into uh, go into the leg, and we put the food we want to steam into the container for its upper part, and then we burn fire from the bottom. Right, this is to steam the food. This is steamer. Mm -hmm. You know, before the Emperor Qing unified the whole country in the year 221 BC, China was separated. There's one kingdom in the middle of China called Jing, J I N Jing. And this bell was made for the king of Jing. Yeah, Jing, kingdom Jing. Jing king. Late 1990s, the curator of the Shanghai Museum. Mr. Ma, and a Ma, very famous gentleman, Mr. Ma, went to Hong Kong with his friend. They went to the antique sh street and they went, they happened to go into a shop and the curator Ma saw this set of bronze bell and he thought it was real. But at that time, all the antique dealers in Hong Kong thought they were fake. But curator Ma read about it before from books. He believed that this was real. He wanted to buy it. But in the late 1990s, he had no money with him. Unfortunately, his friend who went along with him had money. So they bought it. And then they put it here. And then there are inscriptions on it. Now it's a little bit blurred, but you can still see. And from the inscriptions, we, we know that there should be 16 bells. But there are only 14. So the curator of Shanghai Museum, Mr. Ma, called Shanxi Province, where this 
bell were on earth, he said there should be another two bells under your ground. Go digging. <laughs> they dug. They found it. Oh, they did. They did. They are not here. They are in their museum. Doesn't belong here. <laughs> Definitely one way to travel in style. Look at this detail. It's incredible. Stepping on his head to avoid the stomach. Looks like it was made out of a machine. The precision is incredible. The museum was so beautiful. I ended up buying a couple of postcards. They looked really nice. Buildings above 10 stories can be called high-rise buildings and we have 4,000 of them here. Fortunately, no earthquake, so it's very safe for all the high-rise buildings. I'd like to tell you some more numbers so that you may see the development of Shanghai city. By the end of 1960s, there were only 40 high-rises here, 4-0. By the end of 1970s, there were 149 high-rises here. Then by the end of uh, 1980s, there were 650 high-rises here. By the end of 1990s, there were 2,000 of them here. Nowadays, 4,000 more are under construction. Buildings above 50 stories, 5-0, 50 stories can be called the super high-rises or skyscrapers. There are about 100, 100 of them here in Shanghai. So we always ask uh, what, what is the national animal in China? The crane. Construction crane. They have so many cranes uh, for all the high-rise buildings.
today was a really fun day exploring Shanghai. I learned a lot of things and um, I think I like Shanghai a lot better than I like Beijing. It just feels nicer over here. It's incredible. The sightseeing was so much fun today. The shopping was fun. Um, and the um, acrobat, the show that we saw, incredible. I was in awe the whole time and I was pretty nervous when some of the people were doing stunts. Like it looked unreal and I was unsure how they were able to do all of that stuff. But it was fun. Um, and tomorrow we have a lot more things to do. I can't believe our trip is almost over. Just one more day and then we fly out the next day. Oh, I'm so sad. But it's been awesome. I'll see you guys tomorrow. One and